Hello everybody and welcome back to Dinkum, where today, oh, so much happier with how this is starting to look. We, we're shaping up nicely here. Still some some bits to, to go to get the plan working. Uh, John, a cassowary is trying to go into your shop. So Ray has come to see it, Rain, sorry, has come to see us today. So I wonder what seeds are currently available. So green bean and sugar cane. Hmm. Also, I think I need another hoe. That, that isn't going to last. Oh no, that's my sickle, sorry. Hmm. I'll buy a spare. That's a hoe. Hoe the dirt, make it all soft and stuff. 800, yeah. I don't think the watering can runs out, but the hoe, I think, probably does, so we'll just sort that out. It looks like the, the watering can just needs to be refilled every so often, I think. Green beans grow summer and spring. We're nearly through the summer, though. Uh, they grow over 11 days, produce three green beans, and continue to produce three green beans every five days. And these will need a plant steak. I don't know if I know how to make a plant steak. So I'm thinking for now, I may buy them for later, depending on how much the sugar cane does, but the sugar cane probably. They're all year over 12 days produce one sugar cane. Yeah, let's have nine of those. Or maybe even 18 of those. Very good, there you are, thanks for your purchase. Just remind me how many do I get? One sugar cane each. Right, the so next thing I want is to keep... I need to keep doing missions for these guys. My new rule is, because you, apparently you do lose a little bit of um, friendship with them if you can't do the task. So if it's a task I feel possibly I can't do, so at the moment I'm one quarter points with Ray. Rain, sorry. And uh, if I feel like I can't do it, then I need to say no. Want to chat? What do you want to chat about? What's new? If I'm quiet enough, sometimes it feels like I hear the trees whispering. It's like hard to describe the sound. It kind of sounds like a gust of air blowing through the leaves. Let's see. Need anything? Ah, actually I have a yellow polka dot dress I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? Can let it go? Yeah, sure. Pleasure doing business with you, Sheila. I received a yellow polka dot dress. Spot on. <laughs> Spot on. At least it's not a yellow polka dot bikini. Alright, um... Got a job for me? You know what? I haven't got anything for you to do. Just remind me. Yeah, so we're now at half a heart. Never mind. So I think I need to get up to one heart with people as much as possible. So yes, when you buy things off people, Sometimes it's worth doing that just to get the heart increase. Um, so, oh look, my guandongs are ready. I am wondering whether today is the day, or whether I wait for another harvest or two of these. Uh, whether today is the day that I chop down and work on getting the orchard to be pretty. What do you think, guys? I think so. I think today... I'm, I'm not going to do my dailies or anything like that. I'm not going to try and make any friends or anything like that. I'm just going to make the orchard pretty. I'm going to fence it in. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to fence it in. I'm going to give it lots and lots of nice grass underneath it. Although it doesn't look like I can plant grass on a tree at the same time. So I'm not sure what I do there. I could even put paving around the, the, the trees. Hmm. I'll have to, I'll have to see what I fancy doing there. Could be quite pretty. So say like I put um like paving going all the way back here. And it goes round into like the orchard area. So the orchard area kind of starts here. And then maybe sort of every... Let me do that maybe. And like every two or three... 
I do one, two, three. Three trees, and then maybe I might even push it backwards for a fourth. Fence there. No, actually, hmm. If I'm putting a fence there, that's going to be a bit close, isn't it? So what I probably want is fence there, one inside. Oh no! I undo, undo. Can I pick it back up? Yes, I can. Um, something along these lines. Obviously, we'll sort that out later. Oh no, hang on. It would be here. So I'd have the fence there, and then I'd sort of surround the trees with the little the brick path. It's either that or surround them with grass. I'm not sure which would look prettier. I think maybe surrounding them with grass would actually look prettier. Having put that down, I think it might be just a bit too industrial. But we'll happily, I think, make the... I'm trying to work out as well what, uh, what I want to make the fencing out of. I do have some gum tree fencing. Quartz crystal away so I can get a free hand to pick up harvests and stuff. Because I'm just feeling like... A little bit, um... Ah, uh, what's the word? I I'm just feeling a little bit like this is really messy. I don't like it, so... I think what I want to do, this is annoying, <laughs> sorry, is to plant some grass. So I think the first thing I want to do now, I don't know, I'm changing my mind about things. When it comes to like designing things like this though, it'll take a while for me to sometimes decide what I want to do, but I think it'll be like totally worth it in the end. So I'm going to take my sickle and I'm going to go up here I'm going to mow loads of grass and get grass seeds. Then I'm going to chop down all the trees in the orchard. I might need to go find some drumsticks or something just to eat to get my stamina up. See, that tree is planted on grass, or the grass has gone over the tree. So it clearly is possible. And I think the grass might be growing around my house too. I think it might be able to grow into that area, possibly. Because it is looking slightly more grassy down that area. Not sure though. So yeah, fencing is next, I think. Let's uh, have a look. I do have 10 of those just standard fences. So it might be nice just to continue from the chicken farm along. Maybe leave a little gap so I can walk in. It's more decorative than anything else, so I might put a fence gate there eventually. But then I know sort of the boundary of... And I need my axe now. Where's it gone? Axe, axe, axe. But it's just, it's been bugging me for ages, to be fair. It really, really has. So I'm going to chop down all these. I've got like a big stack of apples, big stack of bananas. Um, it's in my box there. This is my food box. Oh, what can I make myself then? Um, 
Oh, look, I have a cooked drummer. Well, that would be helpful to start with. I'm going to chop all these trees down. If I need to get the fence in to start with. Did I use all my fence up? Yes, I did. Right, so I think I need some gum logs, I think it might be. Gum logs and spin effects resin, I'm pretty sure. To make that just basic fence. I might change it later, but these are cheap and cheerful. They will do for now. And then I'll probably make myself a crafting bench so I don't have to run down here all the time. But running down here does help me to go and see Fletch more often, so that is quite helpful. I need to feed my chickens too. Um, yeah, 32 crude fencing. That should last me a little while. Like I say, eventually I am going to get back onto the permit points. <laughs> I've been a bit, a bit rubbish with doing them lately. Where did my fences go? There they are. Okay, so we've got this lovely orchard here now. I know, I'm going to chop down this tree. And I may eventually extend the chickens, but I think I'll probably extend them out to the side rather than the other way. Got to be honest. Some logs, some nuts. Piece of fence there. So there we are, we've got a much nicer looking area. But Chilab is now feeling very sorry for herself, so what can we do about that? I don't really want to make a fruit salad. Uh, I'll eat some cooked cactus fig for now, I think. I don't need the fishing rod, that's the one thing I actually don't need. Um, put away my sugar cane seeds for now as well because that's that's going to be like another thing for another day so I've got wheat seeds, I've got green bean seeds uh, I do need to water as well I think because I thought these were supposed to be done by now <laughs> and they're not so I don't know if I've just not been watering them enough possibly not they still seem to be alive so that's one good thing uh, watering can. How is water from point A to point B? I might need to go and fill that up in the river. Okay. Yeah, this is so feeling so much more organised now. I feel like because the chickens might need to expand out sideways as I get more chickens, uh, what I also might need to do for them is to, uh, what, sorry, with the, um, what I might need to do with the uh, crops is to push them backwards. They seem to be growing nicely. I don't know whether they're growing slower than they should, but they grow all year round because it's wheat, so that shouldn't be a, a, too much of an issue. Look, if you're going to keep wiggling your butt in my face, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. This is what's going to happen. So you be careful, you. So for now, I'm not going to worry about this area too much. Um, 
I may eventually make a separate like cooking area and a separate workshop area. So a workshop area and then maybe a bit of a fence and then maybe a cooking area as well. Um, for today, I'm going to more focus, obviously, or as I've been saying, on getting this working. So the first thing I'm going to do is seed down grass. Now, it seems to me like seeding grass doesn't... Uh, too much stamina but it does take a bit obviously the mowing involved does too but I do like covering everything with grass it makes it look so much prettier I feel like an orchard would have grass growing at the bottom of the trees even if the trees themselves have like a little bit of a, a dirt patch under them I feel like it's just more natural looking and uh, it would just go with the overall look I'm going for and I'd rather spend several days getting this right than do what I did before and then end up having to chop them all down again so I'll probably have something like six to eight of each tree and then I imagine I'm going to be like fruit salad city That is going to really help me going forward. I don't need no fern seeds. Ah. Maybe I could put ferns in my garden. I don't know. So if you want the really, really um, swanky looking... I don't mind the yellowish sort of grass. But if you want the really swanky looking green grass, then you want the, um, the tropical grass. So that's more this colour. See? I feel like the yellower sort of grass looks a little bit more Australian. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I can sometimes put... So I can put grass under a fence. So that's super interesting. What should I start with? Let's see if I can put it under that. Yeah, so you can put them under the trees. Yes, you can. So I could actually um, plant the trees and then plant the grass around it. So there's no need to necessarily do that straight away, which is quite nice to know. So, let's chop down this tree. And then start planting. Uh, I'm going to need something more to eat though. Uh, I grill up that other drummer quickly. And the pretty grill. So this is really starting to take shape now. That's isn't that looking so much nicer. Hey okay, Lab, that's a bit of a nice sustenance for you. So I'm kind of thinking, let's get some. Oh, I have, oh sorry, we already do have them. Some of these guys. I'm going to put my other fishing rod just into my inventory there. Get my shovel out. Where's my shovel? I put my shovel in my chest. Yes, I did. Don't need my hoe at the moment. Like I say, I would probably do that tomorrow. We're sorting out the orchard today. So, I think... One... Two... We'll start here. In this case of throwing them in. Carrying it. I hope this works. I hope they're not too close together. I don't think they will be though. I might leave a space then. Um, there for a, 
path. I might put a little path through the orchard. Right, let's do that. Oh, no, I've got my shovel. Right, let's do that now. So, my spare spear there. So what I might do is go from here. And just put a little path going through. It would just maybe end about there. And then put some other Kwandong trees on the other side. So we're starting about there. One about there. Oh. Hello. Um, try that again. <laughs> These are going to be much better. And then I'm going to chop that one down. Oh, I'm going to run out of stamina a bit though. That one down. Now, it's the Kwandongs that I find the most um, difficult to find in the wild, so that's why I wanted to plant those first. They're the ones I have the least of. So I think that's a lot nicer. And then we'll sort of um, plant them two apart from each other. I think I might just head to sleep now. I've had everything I need off Rain. Um, I've got an extra quarter heart with her from her visiting, so that's all kind of wonderful. I, I've got all the time in the world to be friends with Fletch and John, so I can do that sometimes, and then other times I might be working more on things like uh, making pretty orchards. A shady visitor might appear on rainy days. Oh, I wonder who that is. Oh, golly gosh. I forgot to, like, feed and pet my chickens yesterday. So they will be priority this morning. I am so sorry, guys. I wouldn't blame you if you gave me no eggs at all. I'm neglecting you. And Amanda grew up. Chicken egg and a chicken egg. I'll get their feed done as well. I usually put in two days worth of feed at a time, so I don't know whether I again neglected to do that or whether whether they're okay. Need to sort this inventory out before I go anywhere. It's because I've been mostly around the <laughs> around the farm area. Just doing my farmy stuff. There you go, guys. Much better. There's loads of eggs. Oh my goodness me. You're so good to me, even though I was horrible to you. So I think six of each tree would probably be enough. Then if I find that there's not enough, um, I can dig out the back here a little bit and maybe uh, add in an extra one. But I think for now we'll make it long. That way I don't need to be going around grabbing trees from elsewhere and things. So how about after Kwandong trees we do apple, maybe? Again, they'll be two apart. And then I'll look at uh, covering it all in grass after that as well. It's wanting me to chop down a tree. From a daily, I think. Let's have a look. Clear three tree stumps and dig up dirt three times. Well, that's ideal for pl our orchard planting, isn't it? Although clearing a stump, uh, I might have to actually go and just find a stump. Somewhere. There's usually one. <laughs> I swear they just spawn. Oh, I need to do a few, do I? Okay. There's another one over there I can see. There we are. 
Oh, that's looking so much nicer now, isn't it? The whole thing. I'm just really enjoying working on this. Do you guys want more food so that if I forget tomorrow, you've got some? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so, um... Oh, let me chop this one down. And then, like I say, because limes and bananas are a little bit more... Uh, shall we say... Uh, easy to find in this area. They're more, a little bit more local. I think apples need to be next. A little bit of grass there. I'll slowly get this all grassed in. Um, right, so let me grab some apples next then. Put away my eggs. I've got a lot of eggs actually. I should fry them or like do something with them and get, get them sold actually. Uh, apples, apples, apples. I've got a lot of apples, which is nice. So what I'm hoping to do with this kind of exercise in general is to even out the amount of um, fruit, different fruits I'm getting. If they're not quite even, like say I get two bananas versus I get like three apples off each harvest or something and it doesn't quite work out evenly, then I'll either change what I've got in the orchard or I'll just go and find wild ones to even out the scores. Oops. Yeah, I hope you don't mind me just spending an episode getting this all sorted, but it's just, it's been sort of, I, I think you can tell it's been bugging my brain a bit for a while. Excuse me, I thought I'd done enough stumps, but clearly not. Do some meat, I can eat that, nom nom. Mr. Grass seed there. Rupu. Yeah, I imagine I'll slowly over time make quite an expansive farm, but just a little bit of time, clear what I need as I need it. There's my third stump. Always worth it to get those easy to gain points. I think my book is trying to tell me I've done something as well. I've cleared over 50 stumps and got myself 100 points for that as well, so that's really cool. Back to making my orchard look pretty. That's already just looks so much nicer, doesn't it? It's like a hundred million times nicer already. Once I get all the grass in and everything as well, all the grass, all the paths in, it's going to be amazing. There's nothing stopping me just because I am doing rows of six. There's nothing stopping me like starting again with apples, later, you know, further down the line as well. As long as they're in vague rows, I'm quite happy with that. They don't necessarily have to all be together. I like it. So that's apple. Now I'm thinking limes. Do I have six limes though? I don't quite have six. I've only got five. So it would be good to find a lime tree. But equally, not the end of the world if I don't. I think there's one over there that's got fruit on it. That's it? No. I'm too good at spotting them and grabbing the fruit off and going nom 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 nom. And I like the limes because they give me a bit of extra health as well. But I know there's a few lime trees down this way. Yeah. There we are. So yes, the four fruits 
the four fruits of dinkum limes, apples, bananas, and quandongs. I do wonder whether those yellow wattle flowers will have a purpose later on in the game. I'm hoping they will. I probably will eventually like level all this out and maybe like extend the path out down here as well. But uh, that's for a later date. There's certain things that are, are to be done now and certain things that are to be done later. And those are a later thing. You can see these have already grown a little bit, which is quite nice. Right. Bush lime trees. It'd help if I wasn't in the hole myself. This is just so much more organised. And I like organised. I hope they won't look too bad when they're... But if you look at how the bananas, the fully grown bananas are, and you look how big these trees are, I think two apart should be, because they're actually two apart. They'll probably be slightly buttered up against each other, but that's fine. I might eat some of my apples. I've got a lot of apples. And I know they're better cooked. I do know that. I'm just like busy and in the middle of stuff. So then I'll need bananas. Bananas and we'll stop just behind John's shop there, I think. So that means this banana needs to go. I'll be able to make a copper axe pretty soon, I think, and that's going to help me considerably with her stamina loss. Alright, so there we are. Bush lime trees are all done. Gondong trees, apple trees, all done. So now it is just banana trees. And if I can make it, oops, I dropped my axe. If I can make a fruit salad, it would be nice. Now the trees are all are all done. Maybe I can. I think my pockets are full. Oh nightmare! All right, let's um. Put some bits away. So, firstly, I don't need any more uh, apples or bush limes. Or oh, we've done the animal food for today. Flowers. Oh, I do need the bananas. Uh, that's the only thing I need. I do need, and I do need grass seeds. I'll do. I should check out my polka dot dress, shouldn't I? It might be pretty. Mm, not keen on that. Back to the purple t-shirt. I'm going my chest of uh, things to swap when people ask for clothing. <laughs> That's basically why I'm keeping those. Just in case you wondered. So next it's to plant the bananas. Just check in. Oh no, I dropped. Ah no, dropping all the bananas in the wrong place. Hmm. That over here. I'll put these bananas in the right place. Oh, no. 
worst banana tree planter ever. And like I say, I probably will end up putting another row of trees at the back there. But don't you think that looks better? Uh, especially once these trees all grow up as well. You guys have been uh, advising me to to maybe try, uh, and I have. Been, I do listen, and and uh, but I'm, I'm not ready to spend that much on shovels quite yet. To so try and um, have like nine shovels in a row for when I'm digging. But then, I've, like, it, that's fine if I'm doing a big, a really big digging task, but at the same time, it's like... A lot of my... It's a lot of my time spent having to swap over the shovels, having to store the shovels. Having to buy the shovels in the first place. So we'll see how fast I get fed up of individually shoveling things. So we need one more sort of um, dig into that area. Gonna eat a banana. That should eat my fruit salad that I made. Where did that go? Oh, no, I didn't make it because... Now, now's a chance to see whether this will pull out. No, it does not pull out of boxes. That's really annoying. I love games when it pulls out of boxes. Hint, hint. <laughs> I really like it when games do when games use the the contents of chests and connect them to the to the workstations. Mm-hmm. salad. Oh, that's me nearly back at full stamina again. Nice. So I'll just put away these leftover fruits. So hopefully now I'm going to have a constant source of eggs. A constant source probably of, uh, hopefully of wheat. I don't know how to make new seeds out of the wheat though, or whether I have to constantly be buying them off rain. She's come twice already to visit me. So I'm hoping that that won't be too bad, and I'm hoping that she'll come and visit me relatively often. And that I'll maybe be able to, after the fourth or fifth time she comes to visit me, maybe be able to get her to move in. So that would be really good, so yeah, I think I can dig this little orchard out a little bit more. Put some more fencing around. Make it look a bit prettier. Not necessarily prettier, actually, just maybe more uniform. Like, I'm making everything more uniform and symmetrical rather than necessarily... Because the natural look I had before was still quite pretty. Just kind of bugged me because it wasn't symmetrical. And I feel that as the farm develops more, that it should go from being very uh, wild looking to going to being more neat and ordered. That's how farms should be, right? So, now I can get the last bananas in here. Or I could if I had bananas in my inventory. So then we have two rows of every fruit in the game. Which means I never have to go looking for fruit again. I should be able to just keep pulling it out of... Uh, popping it in the boxes and then when I want to make a fruit salad or whatever... It's all the sat there ready for me. And that one last bit of fencing there. Uh, but then I need to dig another... I mean, I've got loads of stamina, so why not? I need to dig another row out here just to put the fence along. So why not? There's a grass seed around there somewhere to pick up. I like grass seeds because uh, my next job basically uh, with this orchard is to to cover it all over with grass. I think it's going to look 
quite nice actually. Even if I do say so myself. Reminds me so much of Minecraft. Like super early days. People sometimes on the channel come to me and they say, Did you play mine do you play Minecraft? Have you ever heard of Minecraft? And I'm like I was playing Minecraft when wheat didn't grow in Minecraft. I was playing it before when there were just the only enemies were skeletons and creepers. I think I might, I think it might have even been pre-creeper days. It might have just been skeletons. And like I say, there was a a while there where you you couldn't actually increase your health if you got uh stabbed by a, an enemy or whatever oh actually i did i did leave didn't i i'm gonna need to go one more because on the other end i've left a gap of one between and so like if i'm if the whole point of doing this is to make everything symmetrical then it would be remiss of me would it not to ignore making the two ends the same and then I'll work out what I want to do with the back of it later because I think I might want to expand this backwards a bit more than I already have. So we'll just put a cap on it at this end. It's also allowing me to even out the dirt around here into more of a square. You see, I'm trying to sort of edge out the um, sticky out bits. A little bit. Not going to really make it a priority. The priority is obviously what I'm building, but it doesn't hurt to make other things neat at the same time if if you can. Okay, so I've got a nice straight edge along there. And if I dig any more out, I'll probably pop some around there as well. So there we are. That is now a space for me to put a fence along. So I've now got this lovely, like, fenced-in little orchard. I hope it grows i hope it works orchard and chickens could definitely give the chickens a bit more space so couldn't i they're in quite a cramped little environment there we've got all the space in the world to give them if we want so I feel like that's a lot nicer. So maybe next episode, I might work on just making the, the various little areas that I want to make around here. And if I've got a little bit of stamina left, I could even start digging it out a bit just now. I'm getting rid of all the stones and things. I actually managed all my dailies today as well. Didn't manage anything for anybody else. But that's fine. Oh, raw drumstick. Nice. I'll cook that up later. So I'm kind of thinking to move the dirt here. I'll just make that look a little bit more of a dividing line. Along there. So I might move that eventually as well, but... But now it's a handy place to put the dirt, so. Oh, really? Cassowary? Get out of my field. Or I will draw, I will make a fence around you and I will harvest your eggs because apparently you can do that in this game. The loading screen told me. <laughs> Something I might try to do later, we'll see. I just figured while I had all of this uh, stamina to spare, I may as well. Kind of thinking like this a bit. Make some sort of informal, little informal areas. Hmm. 
not 100% sure what I'm going for with this, but... Um, so I'm also thinking maybe I'll pop some dirt just down there as well. I know I've got fences for this, but I, I feel like using the landscape as well is quite nice. Especially once I've got it all sort of grassed over and looking pretty. I don't know if I want to pull that all the way over to here. Maybe I will. I'm just trying to make basically make the most use I can out of the uh, the dirt I have and the stamina I have right now. So then I've got a second bit where I can. Oh, you know what? That looks like a wall. If I cover it in the stone stuff. It looks like a wall. So what I could do is make that into a kind of little mini wall. Like so. And then maybe what I could do is um, put down like a wooden brick uh, thing or I could change that to wooden walls. I'm not really sure what I want to do there actually. But yeah, it goes down the side look. So for sort of industrial looking areas, that is so cool. But yeah, I think that is going to be me for today. Um, I'm probably going to play around with this area a little bit more, try and just work out how I want it to look. So part of it's going to be for cooking, part of it's going to be for workshopping. So probably the cooking will be here and I think the workshopping will be down here. But let's go to bed for now. Uh, we did this beautiful orchard. It looks really, really nice. Maybe I'll eat a banana and then I can stand in front of my orchard looking like a decent person. <laughs> and then we'll go to bed and end the episode. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, it's definitely starting to look way more like a homestead now, uh, which I am really liking. So hopefully we can start to move some more of the townsfolk in soon, get those five people, get the upgraded town hall, make a bit more money with the old metal detector, and then maybe also get a, get the mine built. Because uh, some of you guys are saying you've built the mine. It's very expensive, it's very difficult, it's very late game. So I'm not going to like sweat that until I'm really ready for it. So there we are. That's the end of the day. We're getting towards the end of summer now. I don't know how long the months are, whether they are like 30 days, 28 days. It might be autumn next. Really not sure. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.